Hi everyone, this is Rana. Welcome to a new Tipitronics tutorial. In this tutorial, we will learn together how to create a light up puzzle featuring Tipitronics LED white stickers and some conductive fabric tape along with some of Magingo Designs stamps. So, let's go ahead. At first, I designed all the templates that you are seeing here in the Silhouette software and then sent them to my Silhouette portrait machine to cut. You will find all the templates on the Gibitronics blog ready to download. Ok, now let's explain what these small rectangles are. These rectangles will work like a switch to connect the main circuit with the small circuits in the puzzles. To make sure that I will get a stable puzzle and a good connection between the main circuit and the small circuits on the puzzle pieces, I just cut all the templates three times and stack all together using the liquid adhesive. Ok, after attaching all the switches, now let's go back to the puzzle base. The base consists of two elements, the blue base that you are seeing here with a small opening on the side to make it easy for us to pull the battery holder and the battery holder itself. The battery holder is also cut of three layers and stuck all together to get the same thickness of the battery. So at the end we will have a flat finish for the base. Now. Let's work on our circuit. So I'm here marking the battery place, so I will be sure to extend the tape later in the right place. We need to be patient here to build our circuit in the right way and make sure that the tape is stacked very well on the switches. Don't worry about that, just download the circuit template and follow the red line for the positive pole and the blue line for the negative pole. Now our circuit is ready, but let's make a little check and voila, it's work! Now it's time to work on the small circuits on the puzzle pieces. I'm just covering the rectangle holes with a normal copy paper so I can later add my LED stickers here. Be sure to stack the tape very well on the rectangle hole edges 
because these will be the main places to connect the main circuit with the small circuits on the puzzles. And let's check the first one and see if it's work. And yay, it's work. Let's do the same process and the same steps for the other pieces. Now I am finishing the last piece with the light and the other four pieces are without lights. Time to stamp and color. The cat that you are seeing here are from Maglingo Designs from a set called You Are Perfect. And I stamped them using Memento Tuxedo Black Ink. I also stamped all the images again on the masking paper and cut them with my scissor so I can mask the stamp and ink the background behind them.
Now I'm using a grass stencil along with Mowed Lawn Lucky Clover Distress Oxide Inks to create the grass. You can see here that I'm freely ink over the stamps because these are all covered. I have another grass stencil that work as a mask for the first one. So here I am masking the grass and start to work on the galaxy sky. For the galaxy, I'm using Wilted Violet, Big Raspberry, Salty Ocean, Twisted Citron, Wild Honey Distress Oxide Inks. Here I'm using Black Saw Distress Oxide Ink to ink all the white places and blend it with the other colors. Going back and forth between the black ink and the other color until I get a soft blending between all of them. To add a few stars here and there, I'm just using a white liquid paint and splattering it on the background using a small paintbrush. So, actually I'm not a patient person, so I'm here using a heat gun to speed the drying process and I can continue working on the puzzle. Now let's see how the masking magic work. Wow, look at these clean white images that we got. I'm using Ohoho brush markers to color my images and I use different shades of gray color, red color and some brown colors. After finishing the coloring process, I loaded this page to my silhouette portrait machine again and cut it as a puzzle. And this is how it's look. I am arranging the puzzle pieces together so I don't get lost and uh, to know which piece belong to which circuit. Now it's time to assemble them together using some liquid adhesive. Be sure that you don't put the liquid adhesive above the LED sticker or above the conductive fabric tape because it may be cause losing some of the connection. Here I wanted to add a frame around the puzzle to give it more stability and also a nice look. This frame is cut by my silhouette portrait machine uh, with some blue cardstock, two layers stuck together and I just blended some of the inner edge with black salt distress oxide ink. Adding double sided adhesive
and attach that directly on the puzzle base. Now it's time to play with our puzzle. Playing with these light up puzzle, it's so much fun. I hope you enjoyed our today's project. Please leave your comments, questions below if you have any. We will be so happy to answer you. Thank you so much for watching and have an awesome day. Bye.